Which of the following conditions is most likely to be associated with this presentation? Hirschsprung's intestinal atresia, necrotizing enterocolitis, cystic fibrosis, or volvulus. A newborn baby boy is brought to the pediatrician by his parents due to abdominal distension and failure to pass stool for the first 24 hours of life. The baby was born at 38 weeks via spontaneous vaginal delivery with no complications. The parents are both healthy and have no significant family history. On examination, the baby appears to be in mild distress. The abdomen is distended and there is no evidence of a bowel movement. An abdominal x-ray demonstrates a dilated bowel loop and a ground glass appearance in the right lower quadrant. Okay, so there can be kind of two causes in my brain of like why they fail to pass stool for the first 24 hours of life you've got like the meconium ileus which is like a cystic fibrosis thing and then you got Hirschsprung's disease which shows like a massive dilation of the colon the ground glass appearance in the dilated bowel loop really makes me think of cystic fibrosis over Hirschsprung's disease so i'm gonna go with it and there could be other reasons too for failure to pass meconium. I'm not saying those are the only two. They're just sure. the one I'm suspicious of. Okay. Final answer. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's let's talk about this here. So um ground glass appearance quadrants, um, characterized by absence of ganglion, right? So you thought it was maybe cystic fibrosis can also give you um meconium, of course, too, but um apparently is it dilated? Yeah, dilated bowels, right? And um, no evidence of bowel movement. So yeah, cystic fibrosis can give you kind of that thick meconium, right? Um, but the issue here is this. The issue is that there's dilated loops of bowel, meaning that that bowel is not working there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you're going to want to lean a little bit more towards Hirschsprung's because if you just think meconium, like you said, there's a lot of things that can cause you meconium, uh, meconium, right? But the issue here is that the bowel is not moving. If the bowel is not moving, you know that there's a um, nerve issue, which is Hirschsprung's disease. That makes sense. 